my channel. So this is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless. So when you see them, it's when you meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. So let's get into this reading, Pisces. We have Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast keeps coming up for some reason. And so I don't know if this is pertaining to looks because that's what keeps being a thing i think beauty and the beast well i don't think i i know it had something to do with a person's looks like he was very much shallow um also i'm getting like somebody being too close to you so uh or wanting to be too close to you you need some space in a relationship so somebody's totally holding on to you too tight this card keeps coming up as well and y'all see me sh shuffling these cards so literally uh they uh, apparently are supposed to be there you are unlike anyone else your uh contradictions and complexities are interesting so I'm getting something about your looks, Pisces. It has to be that because you are unlike anybody else. And Beauty and the Beast is about looks. The, the Beast being the Beast. The Lantern Fairy, a clear solution coming out of nowhere. And then a Sea Beacon Fairy, guidance, but where will it lead you? Two cards basically saying you being led into something mysterious. I'm heavily getting something, somebody, some type of being is in your energy which is giving me now supernatural um sky gazing somebody seeing uh i don't know if that's a drone or if that is actually really a ufo but things that are i'm hearing going bump in the night but either way something about the sky um do you believe in ufos do you believe oh let me tell y'all i don't even know if i told y'all this on a channel ever before but when i went through the dark night of the soul from the beginning i think i was being heavily trolled by somebody um a group of people i think they were african i think it was because somebody hired a african loa to do spell work on me okay so long story short uh first thing i saw was four fallen stars in one night i've never in my life and i've watched the sky for a long time i've never in my life have seen four fallen stars i have seen two in one night but never ever four so when i got that four it gave me full four, four falling stars four celebrities last year were going to pass away and it ended up being more than four that i knew of but I think the four most high profile ones you can put in the comments if you know um anyway and y'all know a couple of them because you can right off the top of your head you can say but anyway didn't have nothing to do with that that was just one of the things um so i got a phone call one night from a weird number and the number was a recording and the recording asked all of these questions have I ever, do I believe in UFOs? Um, I said, yes. Then it asked me something about did, what did I feel about the number 13? The number 13 is my lucky number because the, it's my favorite number actually because my first son was born on the number 13th. Then it asked me something about staying on a 13th floor in a hotel. It was the weirdest phone call I ever in my life received. And I don't even know where it came from or why. And why did it come at the time when I was going through the dark night of the soul? So it was almost like me being like some more creepy shit. And one night, and mind you, I got the confirmation of this ahead of time. So this could be a thing as well. So maybe somebody's going through this. And just so you know, you're not freaking crazy because it literally happened to me too. Um, I got a confirmation online early in the day that said, make sure you are looking up in the sky tonight. And I shit you not, I was looking up in the sky and I saw what looked like a green light, but literally I didn't know if it was a drone or if it was a UFO or a plane or something. But there has been some strange, mysterious things happening in accordance with like spaceships and things of that nature as if like certain people are being 
sought after, identified. Um, and then the other thing was, I literally watched this because I was told to sit and watch, sit and observe. So I watched the whole tarot community go through the same glitch all at one time. So the tarot readers were talking about, and, and it was happening, like, um, I'm, I kid you not, because I was over here like, how is that happening? That's impossible. Everybody was having the same occurrence where they were all feeling like they were being watched. To the tune of, we all checked our smoke detectors, our, there was trackers, because I ended up having a tracker put on my truck, and I, there's a video down there, if you want to go look, you can see it, like, literally... All of us were having the same occurrence so I don't know how a person a group a community coming right out would have spell cast over the whole entire tarot community all at one time and it's sad because I still see some of the ladies are actually really going through it um, we have lovers here at the bottom of the deck so we got lovers courtship we got a message we got pathway we got main mail and we got community so I don't know how it would have been that the whole entire tarot community was cast over at the same time. So then the thing started being creepy to where all the messages started to be like we were all interlinking. And again, if y'all go down, I'm telling y'all, I already talked about this. Um, December of 2021 going into 2022 along the way. It was there it is and, and it's still happening because I still see some like because I'll be doing the message or I'll be doing something else. But anytime like me being made aware of certain people, because even with some of y'all, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but some of y'all, there's a smell that comes along with y'all when y'all leave a comment. So again, I'm still trying to figure out what that what that means for that situation. But when I'm on YouTube, certain people are made aware. I'm being made aware of, of certain people. And so, some of these tarot readers are, there's a separation here. The separation fell on the floor. So, I don't know if that means you're reconcil reconciling with somebody or if this is a complete separation. It's totally over and it's totally done, but I'm putting it in here. Okay? So, that may, it may be a completion of the separation. Um, something in a situation was also not enough. It wasn't good enough for you and you had to move and leave away from that. Okay? We have the phoenix. Oh, let me put this back. I'm, I'm putting the cards back like I'm supposed to. Okay, so the phoenix here. A new phase, a new cycle, rekindling, renewal, transformation, growth, change, and a changed mind. And that's literally what I just said about that card falling on the ground. Some, so, Excuse me. Somebody's um, letting it go completely. Or somebody, there's also a restart because they fell on the ground like, you know, somebody might be rethinking it. I don't know. But also on the ground to me means it's done, it's finished, could put put it in a casket okay um so the messages and i don't know if you've been watching tarot a lot of y'all been watching tarot for a long time and i'm very sure y'all notice that messages go up at the same time which is very unlikely that somebody watched somebody's message and then the message then they posted the message that's impossible because how are the messages going up at the same time and so it was almost like everybody was being programmed by who but then it was a thing because if you look up collective consciousness all of us being tied you know one one thing everybody being tied under the same collective so if you are part of this soul and, and not everybody so it's groups it's like in a bible when you have um this tribe or that tribe so you know which tribe you are a part of because you are being made aware of these tribes. So then uh, it was a couple of things. Somebody could be running away from a situation. Um, somebody could be very much codependent. Um, somebody could have fear of intimacy. Somebody could be in their ego or being very arrogant because I really don't like the way ego is because that to me seems is self-esteem. And so arrogance is a thing for me. So I have an issue with that if you don't know by now. Um, so somebody could be, be being very arrogant or, you know, acting like they are very haughty and above everybody else when meanwhile they ain't shit. Um, either, either way, um, situations happening that don't make sense. Like 
how was that happening? How is it that... So again, it goes back to me, like when I'm when I said um, in your, it's, I don't know which reading it was, number it was. It was not that far ago. It might have been last night. Um, bloodlines, y'all being family or connected in a past life or spiritually or y'all in the same group as far as whatever it is. But it, it's weird. Basically, it's definitely weird to me because imagine going through the dark night of the soul and then waking up literally in in the twilight zone that's what it feels like so and i don't know if you ever seen the twilight zone but that's what it feels like to me it's like you are now on an episode of and you just gotta figure it out and hope everything goes well okay either way um I really wasn't happy about it and but either way I still had to navigate through the situation so that's just what it is and that's just what it was okay so let's move this stuff all the way up so that way y'all can see because I don't know if y'all can see but I'm just messing it up so all right and then I'm gonna finish giving y'all these cards and then we're gonna go from there but anyway so a clear solution guidance but where will it lead you so you're being led all right so apparently we are like the what do you call that gingerbread when they what is that hansel and gretel when they were supposed to be leaving the bread comes but meanwhile they ended up at the witch's house and then she tried to eat them and something ate their bread crumbs so that way they didn't know how to get back but I feel like somebody could potentially be breadcrumbing you or just us right now. Because the way these readings are coming and the way the energy is, it's like we're being led. And I keep saying that it's like I have invisible teachers. And I don't know where that came from because if y'all know, if you've been listening and paying attention, I've been saying I've been in spiritual witness protection. Um, something, somebody is heavily protecting and guarding me why i don't know but literally that has really been a thing of my life because it is people who have been trying to try to come near me not allowed to come near me it's been people that have tried to do little things and let me tell you because these spirits been going off okay and this has been since december of 2021 like i said me going through dark night of the soul apparently I got put in protection in, in the protection program. Okay. So we have lovers here. The number is 15. Okay. Um, you loving yourself because we also have the lovers here. So that's a confirmation. So for somebody, some of y'all, all of us, I guess, um, something could be potentially happening where there's a choice that has to be made. A decision that we're going to have to make. But I feel like this decision, this decision is going to have to be made very quickly. So, it's like almost... Because all I hear is stay ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So, whatever this is, is going to come in so fast. And for those of you that this pertains to, it's almost like you already know. You have a feeling already. That something is about to change in your life real quick, Okay. So let's put this here, back where it belongs. Then, still guidance. Because this lantern here, this lantern here, this lantern here. Shedding light on the situation. So there's clarity about to happen. So it may be like we've been in the, in the dark and we not knowing like, you know, what's been happening. Really like we see it. We have some discernment about it. We can trust our intuition about it, but it's like it hasn't been fully 100% clear. Pretty soon it's about to be clear. And three, three lanterns, that's a trinity. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. It's what? All types of, what else is there? It's three, it's three, always three. Because I kept saying, even back then, why is it always three? Because I, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all right now, don't judge me behind them videos because I was very triggered and I didn't know like what the hell was happening. But I kept saying it keeps being three. 
the mother, mother, the father, the son. Um, and then it started being a connection with tarot readings because the mother, the father, and the kids, the children, the stars, the moon, and the sun. All, everything was interconnected because that's what the stars, the moon, and the sun is. It's a Muslim story because, again, I got led to um, Islam and I'm not a I'm not a religious person. I grew up a Christian. Like my whole family is Christian. But somehow when I went through the dark night of the soul, I got led to become Muslim, become um go there. And I ended up finding out why it was basically about structure and um but then the real part was it was because me dealing with a spirit the dark night of the soul i ended up finding out about a python spirit it's designed to take your prayer it's designed to take your praise it's designed to kill you and in islam you pray five times a day so in order for you to get rid of a python spirit you have to pray without ceasing so it was another thing like it was helping me but i wasn't connecting the dots like literally and again i told you i'm still walking a very fine line okay so some days y'all might be like you know she's a little triggered today and it could be a thing and i'm trying to control it as much as i can because literally i even had to I went through a situation, and if y'all went through that, then y'all know people die there because they send you messages that that are not of God, okay? And then also, it's like we are a beacon, a target. So, I the day that I found out that my car got GPS, I had an interaction with the police because I had to call the police for them to actually run the get the uh. The, 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 what do you call it? The paperwork, the documentation for them knowing that that happened, right? And so when the police showed up, I'm under still, and it wasn't until I was explaining to him, like, people have been tracking me, and people, and then I realized when I was talking to him, because he started to do this thing. And then Spirit started talking to me saying, be careful what you say to him. Be mindful because I don't even know if I should be saying this. But I feel like it's needed and I don't get any restraints. But honestly, I feel... Okay, so nobody's stopping me, and they're saying it's fine. So clearly, it must be fine. Somebody needs this. Okay, so there's trigger words that even the police, like when people like us, and I'm going to say us because it's spiritual people, it's chosen people, it's 144,000 people, it's starseed people, it's we don't come off the best because it is it looks like mental health it looks like mental health problems and you end up getting yourself locked up in a mental health facility and then they start pumping you full of medication because you are clearly displaying some type of mental illness some type of behavior that is alarming to the outside world to me honestly I feel like it's all been a setup. And again, just so y'all know, I ain't nobody's counselor. So I ain't trying to counsel nobody on nothing. I'm just telling you what I went through. And I have been a very sane, stable person my whole entire life. And when I went through that, it was traumatizing. Also, it was beautiful, but it was very much traumatizing and triggering because I didn't know. I didn't understand. And I just had people doing stuff and i didn't like it especially not tracking my car and other style like that's weird so and that's disgusting for a person to do and so with that being said i got the warning be careful what you say to him because he started asking questions that put me on alert like so my spirit 
kicked in and they are saying it's okay so i had to start leaving certain things that I, I had to give what was necessary what was necessary was this tracker got put on my car i didn't put it there how did it get there so he filed a report that's it that's all okay but again we had we have to be mindful us types because they're not your friend okay so what happened when i was doing my readings from the beginning was i would get excited because and i probably still do it now and y'all probably have noticed that i do i'll go one way and then my brain starts to do like 10 other things so it's like a computer and i keep describing it like that because it keeps working really really fast and i also noticed it in several other tarot readers that they were doing the same exact thing and so the ones that i felt like i was relating to i would kind of leave a message sometimes to let them know you got to slow down because you're not completing the sentences and so the people who are sent to our channels might not be getting the full messages because we're we were glitching and so and if y'all watch tarot then you saw this yourself it was almost like giving very much mental health issues and so especially when they start off and they they start with one sentence and then they jump to something else and it's like you didn't give me the message for that so that might be the other reason why the reading when i said blocking the messages and the messages not being fully delivered it's because some of the tarot readers that have that were all triggered at the same time we were not delivering the full message because our brains were doing something different and it was almost like we were being programmed and I know for a fact that mine felt like I was being programmed that night when I was asleep because I would wake up with songs and it's still happening. But literally back then it was very vivid. Like I could remember everything I was dreaming of because it was like somebody was trying to get me to deliver a specific message and I'm in control of my me not you not them like i'm in control of me so again when a person has been taking care of their self since a, for a certain period of time it's almost like i realized it was off real quick so i don't know how long certain people have been under that because and then when i came back to tarot it was basically talking about some divine masculine and some divine feminine like that wasn't in tarot when i started um when i was in tarot when i started i just basically learned to do tarot but i didn't know nothing about like how this and then so i didn't know how, nothing about that like you i know about divine masculine divine feminine but it was like a whole story that had erupted all of a sudden and now the world is being programmed with that and i'm trying to figure out well who is programming but uh when i got back to tarot i didn't know the full story so then there's a really good tarot reader um and I think her name is Estrella. Estrella. And she did the best reading I saw during that time about it. And it started talking about... And I think it has something to do with these cards. And that might be the reason why everybody was having the same exact readings at the time. But she went in and she kind of, I guess, did the... She did the legwork because literally she brought it home. And what she was talking about was that there was a wealthy man that ended up in a relationship with a karmic um the karmic basically did some karmic shit and somehow this lady ended up pregnant and the baby being left it, it was a whole thing and it, it's on her page i know it but anyway it made me further explain understand what was being given in the tarot readings but then the other part was, I'm coming out of the dark, dark night of the soul, I'm being led to tarot, and then I'm being said, told about um, your person is doing this and that and the third. And for some reason, the readings were very much connecting to my life, except for the fact that they started talking about some stuff that, like, that your person has gotten somebody pregnant, and my person can't get nobody pregnant because they're not 
you know able to do that so then that started to make me dig a little bit deeper because then i'm like okay they're not realizing then they start talking about stds and this then a third but they don't realize a new person coming to tarot you telling them about stds stds is something sexually sexually transmitted disease a disease that you get that could mess but then which they were talking about that too but stds could be sexually transmitted demons as well sexually transmitted energies you see what i'm saying and then like your person's getting somebody pregnant or your person has a baby and then a person who's new to tarot is going to be thinking okay my person got somebody knocked up knocked up pregnant but then they got an std when all the while they're saying that because they weren't saying that they were saying a child there was a child but a child can be this so then i started doing like explanations to it was almost like i was kind of trying to correct the situation because again i just got led here and then all of a sudden i'm in the middle of a, a pile of mess and i'm watching people deliver messages that i mean and i ain't one to judge and i'm not here to judge but it was just horrible because literally i'm saying i can tell that these people are lying why are you lying to them and saying what you're saying so then it started to be a thing where I started to say, where did you get that information from? Because some of the stuff that they're talking about, I would like to read it. I would like to know where you got that from. Because in, in tarot, like when you read in tarot cards, you can come up with anything you want as far as the tarot cards are concerned because it's like trusting your own intuition. But some of the, the storylines that was coming along with these things, I was trying to figure out, like, where did you get that? Because it seemed like it was a very intricate thing that was happening so then i started to realize okay god saying you don't worry about what nobody else is doing you sit and i'm gonna give you the message the way it needs to be given and it just is what it is so this and i tell anybody when you read in tarot this it's your own discernment because somebody can come up like the other day this gave me a car like this looks like a car it's so he's sitting on his throne but it gave me a car. Somebody get a new car. And for some reason today it's giving me car again. It looks like an Audi. Um, either way. So you can. The message is being given. To the person the way it's being given. But the other thing was. The message was being given. But the message wasn't being fully delivered. Because there was glitches happening. And so you being guided, now all of a sudden the, the messages are coming through clear. So I might have to go check some of these tarot readers that I actually was um, like led to from the beginning and just to see what is actually happening because it looks like this is clarity. This is like things being brought full circle, clear solutions, um, soul searching, introspection, contemplation, wisdom, truth seeking. Um, also being alone and I told y'all guys about meditation and guidance, also guided meditation. So I'm getting that somebody is about to do a, uh, past life regression or somebody maybe wants to do a past life regression or somebody needs to do a past life regression. So that's basically what that's talking about. Whoever you are and y'all are basically your pathway is clear. I've been telling y'all that the whole entire time because things have been cleared up. And although we're still dealing with some real weird energy, your pathway is clear for you to now you have free will. You can decide what you want to do. And you are now your karma is based off whatever it is that you want to do for you right now. We got this two of wands here happening and that's believe in your personal power. So believe in who you are, believe in what you're doing and where you're going. Planning progress, making decisions, discovery, leaving home, travel plans, happiness, attainment, foresight, reconciliation. So leaving home, you can be leaving home just to travel or you can be leaving where you are from or where you live at to go somewhere else that is permanent. We have a courtship here, a new situation, a new relationship happening. We have a message of concern. So somebody's concerned about whoever it is that you're dating or the people that you're about to go to because we got community here and main male. Main male to me would mean the main person that's in your life. So if you haven't met them, whoever these people are already know you. And so this is where it bothers me sometimes because 
I feel like part of the reason why you, because a lot of us already felt like we were under watch. And the reason being is because of these people, which gets on my nerves because I don't understand what type of group, family. I just don't understand what type of people would do that and not realizing, not realize that that would be triggering to somebody to feel like you're being watched 24 seven and not say anything to you. But in their defense, the thing that I'm getting and it keeps being the same thing is they didn't know if you were the person that you were supposed to be. Like they were trying to figure it out because apparently it's been a lot of fakeness happening around here. So they didn't know if you were the person, which I get, but I still don't, it's still other ways of handling stuff. So I get it, but it's almost like spying ain't the way to handle it regardless of the fact. So, and and it's like, for all these people to have some type of because these are higher level energies why y'all don't have no discernment either because we're being told to trust our intuition and to trust that we're being guided in the right direction why is it that these people don't have no discernment that's the vibe that it's given me so that would also mean that there's people around here that don't belong here and quite frankly, I ain't going to lie to you. When I was glitching from the beginning, the people that I was being, like, I was looking at, I was literally saying, y'all seem like the karmics too. Y'all seem like y'all are karmic people too. And so that might be the thing where it's like, sometimes a leader has to make a decision that might not be the best, you know, for everybody so and then you got to remember a leader also has to protect protect the majority and i said project so somebody could be projecting some bullshit okay so um but a leader has to pr protect the majority of the group and so sacrificing one or two people is better than sacrificing 10 or 12 so i totally get that and that's just one of the things so sometimes we might not have realized or maybe they were trying to sacrifice you in the process because they didn't know you but meanwhile they didn't realize you were a vital key to this situation like ain't shit shaking without you you see what i'm saying so yes they can you know make do with whatever they can make do with but technically the gift and the blessing was you either way we have a coffee cup here the phoenix separation seduction and something's not enough so that's giving me the vibe of a person that actually some third party interference some, and like I said third parties can be friends family but something in a situation was not enough so you the phoenix is something that's a change we got courtship and then coffee cup here meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted and a friendship so somebody wants to be your friend I got the vibe and the feeling like somebody's gonna start acting a little bit different because they seem like they're taking the approach now of trying to be your friend, not trying to spy on you, not trying to stalk you or anything like that, because I guess they starting to realize that ain't going to work. That's just not going to be the way it's going to you know, happen. So we got change and transition here, a new phase. So that could also be the new phase that they realized that what they did was kind of messed up because I kept hearing today, um, the person kept saying, are you going to forgive them? Because they're afraid that if they tell you the truth, everything that they did to you, that you might not like them. And so that was one of the things, whoever this group of people is, that was one of the feelings that I was getting, or whoever the person is, that they think that you're not going to like them because of whatever it was that they did to you. But I'm also getting a vibe like it had to be done. And that's where the bad part comes in that is because this was the only way for it to be done. So it's kind of messed up, all right? But it is what it is. So forgiveness. Oh, and that was because I was supposed to tell y'all that this morning. Um, when I said in the other reading, are you going to have forgiveness? It actually pertained to that because that part I already knew. Like, um, But I forgot, okay? So, and I think there's one more other thing that I was supposed to tell y'all, but I forgot too. Um, so I'll remember at some point in time, especially if it was important. So we got a king of swords here. Um... 
thinking things through from all perspectives, which is exactly what I said about, you know, this group having to figure it out. How do we get this done? How do we get this situation? Because again, you're forgetting, or, you know, we might not be remembering that there is some karmic shit happening around here too. Some stuff that even us, we have to be accountable for because we may have gotten ourselves into some trouble or to some situations that weren't conducive to, you know, us coming into alignment with the people that we're supposed to be in alignment with. But again, remember, you are unlike anyone else. Your complexities and your, uh, they, they you're interesting because of that. All right. Your contradictions and your complexities make you interesting. Um, then we have the page of wands here, having your eye on a prize and loving every moment in it, so every moment of it. So living in the moment, inspiration, ideas, discovery, limitless opportunities, potential, free spirit, exploration, news, messages, information, excellence, and oh, it says excitement, but excellence, I said excellent. So you are excellent and freedom. So you are free. I keep telling y'all that that energy is just there so you either take it love it receive it and do what you need to do um you have earned every one of your successes okay so victory public recognition progress self confine uh, mm, self-confidence and uh, self-confinement that was that hermit card right there so you still may be in confinement like because i'm getting a vibe again you don't trust these people they did too much. You had to protect yourself. Meanwhile, these are the people that's supposed to be protecting you, okay? So good fortune, and it takes a minute to build trust. So you don't know them. They don't know you. This is a family that you're building. So it might take a little bit, a minute to build trust because after, you know, the conversation is had and you figure out what these people really were doing, then you might be like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> but again, I did some TikToks earlier today, and one of the things said, if you already know that these things are happening... Don't take too long. Don't miss your blessing overthinking it. Because if you do, well, for you, basically, well, for me, technically, you know, it is what it is. But just don't overthink it. Because if you already know that this is the way that God is you, you being directed, a clear solution, actually, this thing actually helps everybody. It's not just you being the you know, the golden ticket or whatever is, it actually helps everybody. Okay. So just so you're aware. So although I'm saying it like that, because, you know, I'd be a little bit mad when I'd be finding out people, you know, don't sacrifice me for nothing. Sacrifice yourself, sacrifice your mom. Don't sacrifice me. Okay. I let me sacrifice myself. If I choose to, you worry about you. I worry about me, but you know, people don't be doing that. They just be putting you on a chopping block. Like it ain't nothing. So we got a King of Pentacles here. Um, you solve your, yours and other people's issues in a very practical way. So for some reason, and I'll tell people this, I like loopholes. I figure like, because you can do anything under the sun. I sit under God. So God says you can do whatever. You can do whatever you want, but you can't do, you know the saying, you can do whatever you want. As long as you know that God's watching, these people ain't got a heaven or a hell to put you in, okay? But it's also knowing that, Everything is yours. Nothing is yours. That whole thing that I told y'all the other way, other day. But the point of what I was getting ready to say was, I believe in loopholes. So I believe there's a way for you to do anything and everything you want and still be under the guidelines of God. Okay? So, figure that out. As long as you ain't... You, there's stuff that you know your body tells you that ain't right. Don't even ask. You know what I'm saying? So, if it's that, then don't ask me because I ain't going to help you figure out no way to do none of that. Cause, but if there's some stuff that is not going to make my body feel like, okay, I did, you shouldn't do that, then hey, we're going to figure out how to get it done. It, I'm going to just give you an example. Because, like, for people think that drugs, for instance, weed, edibles. So technically under the well certain places it's legal now but at one point in time it was illegal so laws of the land and laws spiritually spiritually we just grows so it shouldn't have never been illegal so to me i don't think you would get in trouble with god for that you see what i'm saying but technically you would get in trouble you could because we are still supposed to follow the laws of the land being here. So that type of thing. 
All right, so King of Pentacles here, wealth, business, leadership, security, discipline, um, protective, success, authority, abundance, prosperity, generosity, and comfort. So it, that's giving me a vibe like you being celebrated, but everything that you've ever wanted, like still abundance, blessings, being surrounded by luxury. Somebody is getting a new car because literally this car keeps giving me a car. All right, so we have the Hermit here, and I already told y'all this card always gives me clarity, like shining the shine shining light on stuff so all the answers will come from within and this is soul searching and in, in, introspection mm, somebody may have a little stutter and then we have the lover's card here um how can i celebrate the love of my life the love in my life so the lovers celebrating yourself loving yourself loving your complexities and your uh contradictions yourself so but then like i said this card oh is giving me because it keeps showing up something about the way you look or something about the way this person looks so maybe whoever's in your energy might be the beast okay <laughs> i don't know and he might be thinking that you're not going to be able to deal with him maybe they might think you're the beast and they scared of you and they don't want you know what i mean i don't know either way it's still like love how you like how y'all doing that and the funny part to me is this so i'm gonna just tell y'all this because if you've been watching, you've been watching, and a lot I've just been seeing like a lot of people who've been watching me from before are now commenting, and I love y'all and I miss y'all just so y'all know because y'all know how we get it done on this channel. But y'all also know that my ring from my previous marriage, the one I'm getting a divorce from right now, was the Beauty and the Beast ring from I think it was Zales or something, but anyway, so um that could be a thing as well because it pertains to something and some and i said that earlier today and i didn't realize that it may have been me okay so it's always something either way because i was thinking it was saying something about a, a piece of jewelry or something and i said particularly that it could have been a ring somebody using your jewelry or something that pertained to you that has your energy on it trying to keep you held to a situation or in bondage either way that's over and done with so i don't know how they would be doing that that's fucking weird but anyway this card literally keeps coming up so maybe i might need to go watch it again because maybe there might be something else in there for me to see but either way pisces so this is the reading and um i think for the most part, the thing that I see is things are getting ready to be made very eerily clear as to what's happening and what's going on because where are you where are we being led to? Like where are the breadcrumbs taking us? Because literally we are we're going down a wormhole, I hate to tell you, because my last couple readings have been I, I think I'm starting to be creeped out too, because <laughs> not really, but I just feel like more invisible teachers. And I've been saying that the whole time. Like, that's what I feel like. I feel like I have invisible teachers. So that would be like ascended masters, ancestors, um, that type of thing. But we are on a journey right now. And we're, I don't know where they're taking us. If you know, put in the comments. But whatever it is, going to be something great. Because even in the last reading, it said something is about, a miracle is about to happen. And again, now that's taking me back to, you know, the space, the space thing. So I don't know. Anyway, somebody may write in the comments or let me know in the comments if you have ever had that experience, if you've ever received that phone call, because I literally received that phone call and it was the weirdest phone call ever. So thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.